Hi, I'm Ken Eastman, Dean of the Spirit School of Business, and we're very excited to show you our new building in person eventually. But for now, we're gonna give you a little virtual tour. It's been open for about two years and we absolutely love it. And we're very fortunate to have two of our outstanding students with us, Jocelyn and Sean. Why don't you introduce yourselves? Hi everyone, my name is Jocelyn Flores and I am currently a senior majoring in Management Information Systems. Hi, I'm Sean Tolbert and I'm a current junior studying Business Management. We're standing just inside the courtyard. Uh, the courtyard's been a fantastic space for us. Uh, we have events out there like Profs Off the Clock where students and faculty get together. There are tables and chairs. Uh, students will hang out when the weather is really nice. And when it gets really hot, we have a mister to help cool things down. Now we're gonna take a little tour of the inside of the building. Uh, when we were in the design phase for the building, we asked students what they wanted most. And the top two things were Wi-Fi and coffee. So we do have Wi-Fi throughout the building, and we have our own coffee shop. And so it's been a very attractive and popular destination for our students. Continuing our tour of the first floor, we are in the Watson Trading Floor. Uh, it's a classroom used heavily by our finance students. It has 14 Bloomberg terminals, which are essential to doing financial analytics. It also has a BOK ribbon, which is a stock ticker. One of the courses taught here in the Watson Trade Floor is our Student Managed Investment Fund. It started at just $500,000 and has already grown to over a million dollars due to our students' investment decisions. Also on the first floor is our Kegel. It is our office that handles and manages all our short-term study abroad trips, which are classes that last from one to three weeks. In these trips, we are able to go to different businesses and see how business is done in another country. I have been able to go to Mexico and Italy, and on these trips, I was able to go to the U.S. Embassy, the National Bank, and the Television Network and meet different people from these companies. We offer over $150,000 in scholarships for our students to go on these Kegel Study Abroad trips, so I highly encourage all of our students to apply for at least one of these trips. Continuing on the first floor, we are sitting in the Riata Center for Entrepreneurship, which is the outreach arm of not only the School of Entrepreneurship, but for the Spears School of Business as well. Spears students can get involved with the Riata Center through programs like the Genius Bar, business plan competitions, and our Startup Weekend, which provide funding and opportunities for entrepreneurs to learn and develop. This is our Keystone Commons. It is a space that we use a lot for events, gatherings, etc. We have resume workshops here. Uh, it is really kind of the really heart and soul of this building where students will hang out and also have a number of meetings and activities. Continuing on the first floor, I'm standing in one of our very student-centric spaces as it contains the Chesapeake Energy Business Student Success Center and the Easton Center for Career Readiness. First, Let's take a look at the Chesapeake Energy Business Student Success Center. Through the Chesapeake Energy Business Student Success Center, our students are working with the recruitment team and their professional advisors. All students are assigned an advisor through their time here at OSU. Your advisor is with you from new student orientation up until you graduate. They not only help you with finding your right classes, but also with everything else that you need on campus, from finding the right resources to housing, to finding different organizations to get involved in. The Easton Center for Career Readiness helps our students here in Spear School of Business develop the skills they need to successfully transition into the workforce. They help with resume review, interview preparation, major exploration, and career mapping. They also help students with soft skill and professional development. The Easton Center creates programs that allow students to do resume reviews and networking with industry professionals. We're in the first United classroom, and it epitomizes what we uh, had in mind when we designed the building, which were design classrooms for interaction and engagement. Uh, movable furniture, movable chairs, and it fits in with our curriculum, which we stress trying to learn skills as well as knowledge. The Lenormand Auditorium is our largest classroom in the building, so it's about 150. But our average class size, we have a ratio of 23 to 1, and we're very happy about that. Uh, even in the large auditorium, it is designed for interaction uh, with movable chairs and things like that so we can still do our engaged learning. Outside the auditorium in the basement, we have a number of team rooms where faculty can break students out or students can reserve them to work on team projects and other activities. There are a lot of great views from this building and this is one of our favorite here on the Loggia. We hope you've enjoyed our tour and we can't wait to show it off in person. Welcome, Welcome to, to Spears, Spears Business. business.